up guys welcome back to man cave collectibles hope everybody is doing well we're heading out for a toy hunt this morning just wanted to uh see if we can get out and try to find uh some of those gi joe retro figures that we're looking for the storm shadow i want a snake eyes and package striker vehicle uh, any of the wave two which we see popping up online everywhere but i haven't actually seen any of those in, in store yet i like the roadblock and scarlet destro uh, so just seeing what's out there we're gonna hit up a few walmarts hit up a few targets um obviously the neca triceraton roadkill rodney two pack is a huge one for me gotta find that at least one of them i'm debating on two as those are kind of like army builder uh type of that's really an army builder figure uh, so is the is the roadkill rodney if you want if, if you really want it to be so I'm debating maybe even just grabbing two of those for my collection as the uh, orange Triceratops, Triceraton, uh, was one of my favorite figures, if not my favorite figure, uh, from when I was a kid uh, from the TMNT line. So that one has a lot of nostalgic value for me. So we're just going to get out and see what we can find. So let's go. We're going to go into Walmart first and then um, we'll just, you know, you know how it rolls if you watch my toy hunt videos. We'll go from there. So let's hit up this Walmart, see what's on the shelves. All right, guys, so we are in Walmart. So we'll see what kind of new stuff we got. So one thing we can see here is we do got some new McFarland stuff. We got the Azriel or Azriel. I don't know how you say it, but uh, it looks really nice. I've seen a lot of, these have been out for a while. I've seen guys doing reviews and stuff on them, but that's a really nice looking figure. And as we're moving on here, got some Marvel stuff. It's good to see the uh, strong guy wave is starting to see it a little more. So for those guys that kind of missed out, that is a fantastic build a figure. There's a warpath. I know there's still guys out there trying to pull him in. Great build a figure though. If you, if you don't get anything from that wave, definitely get that build a figure. Got a Gwen there. Looks like we got the uh, movie stuff. Got a lot of, got a whole bunch of the Mystiques back in there. Wolverine and some more Mystiques down on the bottom. Got some Ghostbuster stuff. They're slowly, slowly disappearing. These are awesome right here. I uh, used to play a ton of Halo and there's a part of me that kind of wants to pick up one or two of these just for the nostalgia value. Here we go. So this is cool. So we'll go ahead and pick up some of these. We'll get pick out the best carded ones. So this is good. I haven't seen these yet and also Finally see the striker vehicle. So we'll grab a striker vehicle as well. we'll. Come back for those, but we'll get those. Try to pick out the best carded versions. We got some Power Rangers down here. Got some Red Ranger back out. So that's good for those guys that missed that the first time around. We got some 3.75 inch Clone Wars here. Let's see, you know, no Boba Fett, I bet. Which I would, whoops. Recording the uh, price tag there for you. That's pretty cool there, the Wicket. Darth Maul is really cool. Some more Anakin. Kind of want to pick some of those up. Coming on down to the Transformers. Uh, have you guys seen the, uh, the new Studio Series 86 figures that are coming out? I've got all those pre-ordered. Um, hopefully we can find them out and about on toy hunts quicker than the pre-orders will come, but I'm um, part of that studio. So if you haven't seen those, check those out. Those are really, really cool. The Hound, hadn't seen him out in a while. Got some Masters of the Universe Battle Cats back in here. Looks like we got a bunch of Skeletors and he mans All in there. All right, 
guys. And then we got some. So this is really cool right here. If you want to see a review, check out my buddy at Custom Comics on YouTube. He's done uh, a review of this guy and he's done some customization. He's also bought a custom version, which is really cool, but that's a really nice piece. Um, even nicer than I originally thought, but check out that. But yeah, these are all tens, but awesome for the price, great prices. a few of these and get over to the NECA section and see if anything new is over there. All right guys, we don't really got too much new stuff over here. We'll just kind of buzz through the NECA section. We don't want to take up a ton of time. That cool jungle hunter there. That's a really nice figure. This is all stuff we see pretty much at all the all the Walmart naked sections right here. And coming on down, we do got all of our pops down here. What we got, and then a whole bunch more pops over here on this side. Got some Back to the Future stuff that's really taking off. All right, let's head to a Target. All right, guys, so a uh, really good find uh, there in Walmart. I was actually really, really happy to find that Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, uh, the Striker vehicle. Those were some that, you know, have been really uh, high on my list of needs and wants for the collection uh, for many, many weeks now if you've been watching my Toy Hunt videos. So uh, really good find. So now we're at a Target. So we're going to go in, fingers crossed. Let's see if we can find a Triceraton 2-pack. Uh, for the collection all right guys so we are in the NECA section here which is a little bit of a mess uh, but we can see we got some there we go what is that that's the marty mcfly tales from space version and this is a line i don't you know i watched these these movies many many years ago but looks like we got three of them but i don't know a ton about it it's not something i really want to collect personally but i definitely see the coolness behind them if you were a big fan of that show or that movie all the standard godzilla figures so these are i guess kind of phasing out we got some got the lab escape predator here which is pretty cool looking got some predator 2 back in there Head. Got the Toonie, Marty McFly, and Doc right there. Looks like we got some Metal Mash, Terminator. So yeah, that's what we got in this section. And then coming on down, so we don't have any, anything Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle wise. Happy Days, there's a Super 7. Back to the Future Doc, Marty, Biff. That turtle stuff. It's kind of cool there. Check out the toy section. All right, guys, over in the toy section, got all the Jesus Multiverse Batman and Girl figures hanging around. Got the Spin Master stuff that we've been seeing a good bit of. There's a 12 inch Power Ranger. I don't know what that is. What's to do? Okay, so you can put the, the 
Chopper helmet off. That's kind of cool. Got the Skylinks there. Pretty cool. There's our Masterpiece movie series. Ratchet. That's cool. That's one I haven't seen out very much there. Studio Series Blitzwing from the Bumblebee movie. Got a Ghostbusters, got a Cobra Island roadblock hanging around. Got Black Widow. And we got some of the two packs, the Thorm and Thunderbirders. Two of those there, four, five, six of those. Six Thunderbird, two packs, that's really nice. Good to see those out and about. Not much in the Marvel Legends world. Well, go a girl down there, they put that on sale. She's been hanging around way too long. And then coming around, got our wrestling stuff, our truth. This one new one, I hadn't seen that one very much. Drake Maverick. <laughs> Looks like we got a restock of the Brachiosaurus and Delta from the Amber collection. Pretty cool. can go to two pack very nice Ooh, that's a real nice on card empire strikes back luke i like that card in real good shape too might think about that one back over to the video game stuff just kind of buzz through that more of this halo there's like a four inch version okay and we got the warthog as well it's really nice so it comes with the four inch figure and the warthog for 30 bucks and here you got one of the grunts some cool stuff there. I really like that. All right, cool. Let's head to our next uh, destination. All right, guys. So um, one target down. Really no luck uh, with that target. No uh, Triceraton, which is what we was really looking for. Um, really not even Legends. Uh, I was thinking maybe we might start seeing the uh, the Venom pool, um, you know, build a figure wave. We hadn't seen that. So we're going to run in another target now and see if we have better luck. All right, guys, over in the NECA section here. And if you can already hear the disappointment in my voice, that's because there is disappointment in my voice. Ton of Godzilla stuff. No turtles. Got some loyal subjects. So this suit's dropping, hitting everywhere. Got a whole bunch of those. Got some more Super 7 up there. Uh, old McFarlane stuff. And here's a little 132 scale replica. So that's pretty cool. I think uh, on our last toy hunt we saw the bigger version. And our pops. Let's head over to the toy section. Alright guys, we got some of the McFarlane stuff from the White Knight. 
for him. And then some of the old Batman stuff from the original wave. I will be ready for that stuff to get going. The Bat Raptors seem to be hanging around a good bit as well. I don't know if maybe those didn't sell quite the way they were hoping. Got the cliff jumper. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool figure. The Studio Series lead foot. More of the masterpiece down there. Game reverse. Cap. That's, I guess, from the original wave, the Abomination wave. So, I hadn't seen any of the second wave of game reverse yet. Got a whole lot of domino. That's a great looking figure there. Look at that face sculpt. Wolverine and Mystique. Here we go. We got a whole bunch of two packs here. Those are all Magneto and Professor two packs. And then we got. Here we go. We got some old man Logan, old man Hawkeye two pack in there. Got reviews on all those on my channel. Check that out. Let's see what I think for this one. Over here we got Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. Wrestling in section is pretty, pretty slim. A little baby Yoda there. It's more of the 3.75 inch here. Oh, there's Han. And some of the six inch up top. And on this side, we got our video game figures. All right, guys. I think we'll head to a Walmart next. All right, guys, so uh, another strikeout at Target uh, for the Triceraton two-pack. Keep hunting. We got another Target in our hunt here today, um, or more maybe, um, but at least one more. We're at a Walmart now, so let's run on in Walmart. Let's see what's hitting on the shelves. I don't necessarily have anything specific I'm looking for um, at Walmart. Maybe some of the He-Man origin stuff if, if I find the right character, um, but... Um, you know, we'll see if the G.I. Joes are, are here as well, that, that first wave, the striker, the hiss. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if, uh, you know, if those are on multiple Walmart shelves. Um, but don't really have anything in particular that I'm hunting at Walmart at the moment. But let's run on in and see what they got. So here we are in Walmart, and we got the old faithful DC Multiverse figures here. Looks like maybe they're getting ready to do a redo of the area. That's a good sign. Maybe we'll be getting in some new stuff. But kind of what we're seeing here is just kind of the same old, same old. Got a ton of dominoes here. Some great figure and a handful of mystiques down here. So those are pretty much everywhere at this point. We got a Gwen, a lone Gwen, and some of the uh, Halo. We got some of the four inch figures and some of the six inch. It's pretty cool there. Oh, here we go. This is pretty cool. Check that out. Jackal Sniper. That's a pretty cool figure. A couple of those. Pile it back there. There we go. We got some more G.I. Joe, a Snake Eyes, and a Storm Shadow. So that's cool to see those. And then we got the Striker vehicle as well. So that's a, that's a good sign. We're really starting to see these things hit now. And all down, we got some Power Ranger stuff. Looks like a whole bunch of the whole bunch of the same. A whole bunch of this Beast Morph for Gold Ranger. And a whole bunch of the Red Ranger. Beast Morph for Red Ranger as well. Put those on clearance for us. Princess Leia there on package. Another one of the Luke's. 
uh, 3.75 inches Obi Wan. Anakin. They seem pretty readily available here. Got some Jurassic World and then our Transformer stuff. This is one of the newer ones. Snapdragon. There we are. Let's swing again. Some Apex figures. We got a lot of Ghostbusters here. Just kind of moving through here, guys, and then you see what's on the shelves. A lot of stuff's not really stuff I collect, but got a lot of the origin stuff. Let's see, are these all He Man? All He Man. All three are He-Man. So there's tons of He-Man stuff. Or He-Man figures. Couple of Roman Reigns. All right, let's head up to the NECA section. All right, guys, so uh, that Walmart, uh, we did get to see some more G.I. Joe's, so that was good to see that hitting. Um, they did not have a NECA section. That's a Walmart that I go to occasionally that um, they don't have a NECA section, so um, sorry we missed out. Didn't have anything to film there. Um, but still had the He-Man stuff on the uh, shelves. Um, lots of Power Rangers uh, from that last wave, but just kind of peg warming there. Um, still the DC Multiverse. So we're kind of seeing the same stuff. We're not really seeing a ton of new stuff outside of the G.I. Joe uh, retro series. So um, getting ready to go into another Target and see if we can find Triceraton. All right, guys, so here we are at our Target. And I uh, got a pretty good NECA section here. Got a good bit of, a little bit of everything you kind of expect in the NECA section here. Got some Stranger Things in that last wave. Got some Super 7 stuff in here. Nick Stone here, best-selling author Terminator. and So here's the 116th and the 132nd that I was talking sure. about earlier. As there. Knows, Got some uh, Tuny Terrors back in here. Bob Ross. As tribal leaders argue, locked in disagreement, the youngest member of the Wakandan royal family. Got the, uh, this one. This is really dropping everywhere. See, I still, sure. I just, these are just, I guess these just sit as compared to like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff. Got some two packs there. The green ones. What she finds? Could be a source of danger and a, looks like we got a mutagen tour of the t-shirt tote bag got the city hunter predator there but no turtles all right let's go over to the toy section and see what we can find all right guys over in the toy section. Just got our Fortnite and video game stuff, Roblox. On this side. Pokemon stuff. Some legends over here man marvel legends hasbro doing a great job of stocking these shells for us looks like we got two packs down here just a ton of them some more old man logan down in there more two packs there Alright guys, and then 
down here too. Got some Roblox. Roblox peg warming a little bit. Got some transformer stuff. Roadbuster on sale. Some double dealer. There's our Skylinks there for 80 bucks. the DC multiverse stuff a ton of bad girls and spin master what's up guys so um so really um uh, I know this is all the same video but we're now on day two I ran out of time yesterday and wasn't able to hit up all the Walmarts and Targets that I wanted to be able to hit so uh we're now at a Walmart um to hit up a walmart we're gonna hit up another walmart and another target uh here kind of on this second day um i thought about maybe separating the videos out but i figured it's easier for you guys if it's all just in one single video uh so we're gonna hit up another another walmart right now see what's on the shelves here uh, and then we got a few more stops as well so let's run inside see what they got all right guys so <clears throat> here we are in our walmart we got our spin master stuff here um, looks like we got a few dc multiverse left over be glad to see that stuff get going getting close got a ton of domino here looks like we got a bit of spider-man retro wave lots of wolverine and mystiques so they really, really did a big job of uh, getting those movie figures out. Definitely no shortage of those. Got some more cool Halo figures on the six and the four inch. Got some more GI Joe here. We're seeing that. Uh, we're seeing this at all the Walmarts. Huh? But uh, you know, something I've noticed is about every single one of those that I've found and looked at has uh, some type of damage on the card, which really sucks. Um, the ones I got yesterday were pretty good, but looks like we got some some of the newest wave from DC Multiverse there. The Earth 32 Batman and Earth 44. And coming on over, and we got our Cygor figure, which I really like. Very tempted to buy that guy. some more power rangers this is kind of what we ones we've been seeing a lot of we got the rattlesnake battle snake i guess they call him he's very cool looking i've actually seen people using him in like a gi joe display and the raptor is pretty cool if you had somebody who could do some custom paint work on those i think they just will look fantastic we got some Jurassic World stuff. Moving on down here. Man, I'm tempted to get some of these three. Some of these three inch. I think if I see Darth Maul again, I may pick him up. Oh, there he is. Let's see. I may go ahead and grab him. They just look really good. They look pretty good on my three and a half inch GI Joe shelf. <laughs> I really want to get this guy too, the Wicket. He was always those was, those were always some of my favorite characters from this from the uh, from the movie. I'll definitely get Darth Maul. I may grab a Wicket. Okay. And we got a Princess Leia in the six inch there. Really nice looking figure. <clears throat> and just some uh, Jeff Hardy and Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman.
definitely some of the definitely one of the best megatrons still one of my favorite megatrons right there Got the retro sound blaster or blaster then we got over here we got just the standard stuff man let's see do we got any man at arms in here or beast man i'd like to get a hold of those guys if there were any but looks like it's just all he-man and skeletor pretty much everywhere definitely no shortage of the main two guys Cool, let's uh, try to walk over and we'll see if we can find a mecha section at this Walmart. All right guys, so uh, that Walmart, they had some type of uh, kind of a restock or they're redoing the mecha section. I'll throw up a picture here for you to see. Um, so not real sure if they're putting in new product. Uh, it didn't really look like they had new product coming in. It just kind of looked like they were maybe redoing it. So they. Uh, kind of had everything out of the shelving but uh, anyways so we're going to another walmart now see what's on the shelf there i ended up not getting the uh the star wars 3.75 inch figures and here's the reason why they did not have a base with them like gi joe retro comes with a with a small peg base 3.75 inch figures are very tough to uh to keep up uh standing up already because of the small feet so to not put a base with them, they're the same price as the G.I. Joe retro figures, but no no base that I can see in there. So if there is a base, let me know. Um, but I, I can't, I couldn't see one in there with it. So uh, if there would have been a base, I would absolutely grab them. I just don't want to fight with having to try to stand them up and they fall over. I used to have a, a fairly decent size a Marvel Universe 3.75 inch collection. I don't know, maybe 40 or 50 figures from that and man i there was every day you walk in and 15 of them is you know over on their face so it was just the most annoying and frustrating part of collecting that size figure um so if i'm wrong let me know uh because i love the little 3.75 inch figures they would look great probably st sitting on the shelf with my gi joe stuff kind of not not together but you know kind of have a 3.75 inch display between joe's and star wars two of the uh, huge 80s lines, 70s and 80s lines in the 3.75 inch um, size scale. So let me know. But anyways, let's run on in this Walmart, see what they got on the shelves in here. Okay, so here we are in the next Walmart. Just checking out what we got. So we do got some of the, uh, I think that was like second wave maybe, which I think is a really nice looking Batman. Is that the white? Yeah, the white Knight Batman, really nice. Still got some of the uh, Arkham stuff, Wonder Woman movie stuff hanging around. Spin Master stuff. Got kind of an odd Marvel legend here. Haven't seen those on the shelf in a while. That wave. And we got lots of Domino and Mystique down here. Lots of Mystiques. Bit of Halo. Lots of Godzilla. Got the power morphers for Mighty Morphin. Those are pretty cool. Got a lot of different types of uh, Power Rangers here. It's at least some different ones from from what we're used to seeing. Last couple of stops. And a lot more of the 3.75 inch Star Wars. This is the whole, yeah, they pretty much have the whole wave here. Yeah. 
I got a ton of them. See pretty much every character. And what I don't see is the droid. You can see here on the back who I was in the wave. So the two droids. Okay, and the clone commander, okay. And Luke. Okay, so we are missing a few. I misspoke. One down. Studio series stuff. That Blitzwing, that really looks like a great figure there. Blitzwing movie, Bumblebee movie figure. Okay. Then we got the Siege. Hey, Brent! Megatron and the Warp Cybertron trilogy. I guess that's like the Netflix version and then the Siege version. And double Dealer down here. Got some of the Cygor. <clears throat> the Frenzy. Those are very cool. If those ever go on sale, I'm probably going to grab them. Apex Legends stuff. I don't know much about this, but the characters look pretty cool. Done by Jack Specific. Coming on around here. Beyblade stuff. So we got a few masters. All Skeletor. Got a random UFC John Jones figure. <clears throat> All Toy Story stuff. Right, let's walk over to this NECA section since the last Walmart we couldn't get to it. Let's see what this one looks like. All right, guys. So uh, that Walmart had about the same kind of stuff that you know we've we've been seeing um, at, at the WalMarts. You know, they had a lot of the Star Wars 3.75 inch, not really Marvel Legends outside the movie stuff. I guess the, the you know the Venom pool wave. I'd love to be able to find that movie Venom. And I just haven't seen them out and about at all. So, um, you know, we'll keep looking for them. Maybe we'll have some luck here at this Target. But now we are at a Target. Just cross your fingers. Trying to get that Triceraton 2-pack. I want to say I'm like 0 for 3 or 0 for 4 at Target so far for him. So, he was supposed to drop. <clears throat> I think he was going to be dropping on the 15th or 16th of October. We've yet to see him out. And I've checked... Some of those targets I've checked multiple times. I just hadn't done videos when I've checked them, but I have checked multiple times, so I'm pretty sure they haven't hit the shelves yet. But anyways, let's run on this target, see what we can find. All right, guys, we are at Target, and look what we have found. Two of the Triceraton two-packs. So we will take both of these, because these are army builders. So we will go ahead and snag that. And we'll get a review out ASAP for you. And then, uh, looking at what else we got, we got a lot of Gremlin stuff down here. Back to the future, we got that 1 16th scale. That, that looks pretty cool because it's almost going to pose with your 1 12th scale. It's slightly small, but it's going to be close. Got a little bit of aliens down there. Dragon Ball and My Hero Academia. Got these little diorama connect pieces. Not super detailed, but they're kind of a cool thought. And you got a 130 second scale, which we've seen a couple times. That would look good actually with the uh, Super 7. He did the Super 7 figures and combined it with that. Let's go over to the toy section and see what we can find. 
All right, guys, so we're over in the toy section now. So we got just the multiverse stuff that we've been seeing. A lot of these been hanging around for a while. Got my Triceratons there in the way. Bat Raptor. Afraid if I put them down too far from me, somebody will take them. Got the old Goldar. Dino Charge Black Ranger. Got some Transformer stuff. Got Shockwave back in there. Double Dealer. Optimus Prime. And these grapples, these grapples have been hanging around forever. Studio Series stuff. It's a real nice looking wheel jack right there. Hoping they convert some of these over. I'll do the Studio Series on them. Shockwave. Masterpiece Ratchet. Come back down here and grab our two packs here. We're in the Marvel Legends section. Looks like we got some of the old game reverse stuff hanging around. And Deadpool Wave. Still hanging Domino. Lots of Mystique. Here's our two packs. The Magneto Professor X. So those are dropping everywhere, man. So are these. Look how many two packs we got of the Storm Warpath. That's a great looking storm. Lots of Squirrel Girls still hanging around. Got three point seven five inch Lando. See, I don't see any. There's no base or anything in there. I don't know if there's base options. Let me know. for Halo. Really like the Halo stuff they're doing. Who's actually doing that? The company is doing the Halo stuff. Can't really tell. 343 Industries, Wicked Cool Toys, Xbox. Oh, Jazz Wears. So, Jazz Wears doing them. I guess. What's up guys? So we are finished with our toy hunt. We're back in the man cave. Um, had a really, really successful toy hunt. I'm very happy. It, it, I kind of did it over two days. I ran out of time uh, kind of that first day and wasn't able to hit up all the Target and Walmarts that I wanted to. So I just combined uh, kind of two days worth of toy hunting into this one video. Um, and I figured that's easier for you guys. Uh, just being able to, it's all in one video instead of breaking it up into multiple videos over multiple days. But, um, yeah, I was really happy with our finds. It was good to see that the GI Joe retro stuff is out there. It's starting to hit. Um, we saw it at multiple different Walmarts. We saw the striker vehicle, which is one we hadn't seen yet, seen it at multiple Walmarts. Uh, and then the way one figures being uh, storm shadow, um, snake eyes and Baroness. We saw them multiple times. So it's good to see that. Um, biggest finds of the day was the Triceraton two pack. Um, so uh, we'll pull up our haul, video, our haul stuff here in just a second. Um, but it was really good to see those out and about. We had to hit a lot of targets. I think we hit maybe four targets um, and we finally found it on the last target of the day. So a little bit of luck in my favor on that. Um, really, really kind of giving up hope. I just assumed I'd run in that target and they wouldn't be there either. Uh, but there they were, two of them sitting on the shelf. So that was uh, very encouraging. And I hope uh, you guys are able to, to get out there and find those at your targets as well. I know some guys have been hitting me up on Instagram and stuff, showing me pictures of them, making me all jealous uh, that they were able to find them quicker than I was. But we'll get a review up on those as well in the next day or so for you. Um, so really cool to find those. 
uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and look at the haul. So we ended up getting uh, two. I ended up purchasing two of the uh, Triceraton two packs, and, and the reason for that is is these. So the the orange, the completely orange Triceraton is the infantryman. So if you go back and watch the uh, original episode, so these guys were only in one episode. Um, Zarax and Zork were kind of the two leaders, the kind of the two commanders. And then these infantrymen, there were three of them uh, that looked identical. So it is an army builder figure. Um, and, and I guess really the Roadkill Rodneys you could army build as well. Uh, now Roadkill Rodney, this was, um, he was a character that showed up in Enter the Shredder, uh, which is out of the original pilot episodes. Uh, I think it was like the first season, maybe had like five episodes or so. He shows up and if you remember, they pop up in a zoo and get a rhinoceros and a warthog. That's kind of what, what their job was, was to go and get that, which, you know, in the end, ends up becoming Bebop and Rocksteady. So just such a great two-pack and definitely something you can army build. I would like to get a third one if I can. They have a good bit of accessories in here. He has, he has multiple, uh, you know, guns and stuff. So you can kind of, you know, if you had three of them, you could have three different ones with three different weapons. Uh, they look really good army built like that. And you'd be accurate to the cartoon by having three of them. So I need to find another one. Uh, also, my buddy, Zach Jack Dan, I was hoping I could find enough to get him one as well. Uh, but being that I'm trying to army build, he's not going to get one of these, unfortunately. But hopefully I will be able to find him one as well as we continue to do our toy hunts over the coming weeks. Um, so really, really cool find. We've got the two, uh, the leaders, the commanders, Zork, Zarax, they're going to be coming out here pretty soon. And then obviously these two, we've already got our hands on and reviews are up. So if you haven't seen those reviews, check those out. NECA just killing it with these uh, cartoon figures. All right, and then on to the next pickup for the day, which is our G.I. Joe retro figures. So we were able to get our Striker vehicle, which is a really nice pickup. You got in there, you got crankcases, the driver, and then the vehicle and obviously we can put some more characters in there gung-ho got some other characters once they come out we can uh you know fill the vehicle up so that'll be really cool we'll be doing a review on that in the next couple of days and then we went ahead and got our uh storm shadow and another uh snake eyes that i can keep on card this one is one of the better on cards i've found yet it's a little bit warped up top, but it's not creased in the card. So I'm thinking if I put that in a card holder, like I have my other snake eyes, my 25th anniversary, uh, I think that'll uh, straighten out over time and it won't, you know, I don't have a crease here. And then we got our snake eyes. So man, these, these are just fantastic. You can see those figures, uh, just fantastic looking figures here. Uh, Get it without the glare. So I've already done a review on snake eyes, so we'll have uh, the storm shadow one coming in the next couple days. So that was really it as far as uh, the haul. But again, those four items, the Triceraton 2-pack and the G.I. Joe Retro stuff made the toy hunt well worth the toy hunt. Um, so I think we maybe had eight stops over the course of the whole thing, if I remember right. But uh, pretty good, pretty good, uh, pretty good toy hunt. Let me know what you guys are finding. Uh, check me out on Instagram. I put, post a lot of stuff from my toy hunts or just my collection on there. Uh, and I've had some good conversations with a lot of you guys on there as well, and I enjoy that. So uh, definitely hit me up on Instagram. That's uh, at Man Cave Collectibles Reviews um, on Instagram. So hit that like button down there. That really gets this video out there. It gets it shared with other folks so everybody can see it. Uh, and then subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, we do a lot of toy hunting. I do a lot of reviews. Um, you know, check out the Triceraton 2-pack review. That may have already dropped uh, by the time you actually see this toy hunt video. The review uh, for this is probably already out there. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Again, put those comments down below. What do you find and what do you see in the toy hunt that you, that you want uh, or maybe something you can't find? Uh, put that out there. I like having those uh, conversations with y'all. Y'all have a good rest of your week. See you.